Well, how do there, chums? I'm back inside of Throne and Liberty. And I've got to go see a Jack Handler's office. We've got to get a, a license to kill vampires. <laughs> Something like that. And we've got to then go and kill a vampire. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing in today's episode. Freaking insane. Okay, right. Well, I, I have no idea where I'm going to head to. I'm looking for this marker. Uh, I can see it inside of the map, but it, it looks like it's miles away. Uh, and I don't really know which marker I should be following at this point. So I'll tell you what. I, oh, actually, it's the big marker that's sort of floating around, isn't it? Which is down this way, I think. Yeah, I'm looking at this little mini map above me. Yeah, that mon there. Okay. Um, but it's not showing me how far away it actually is. I'll just head towards it. Cool. Anyway, let's get into game. Right, okay. I don't think it's that far, actually. It's only up here. And through here, I, I, by the looks of... Oh, it's moved. Oh, there we go. It's in. It's somewhere around here, apparently. Oh, I guess I'm going in here, then. Right, let's go in. Knock, knock! Tis I! Hello! Tis me, the Steve, the captain of. How are you there, Jack Handler? Who is it? Do you have business with me? I do, yes. I do indeedy doody. Yes, I'm here to get... Oh, I need to borrow the Guardian's Pledge. I have vampires to slay, my friend. <laughs> You're a cheeky one. Who do you think I am? I'm Jake Handler. Are you here for a duel? I'll give you anything if you vanquish me. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll duel you. But anyway, let me explain the situation before you go and throw your life away. What? Sophia? Mm -hmm. So that's why you needed the Slayer's Pledge. If only she'd come on as a staff officer when I suggested it, this never would have happened. Her talents are too precious to let go to waste under that staid Da Vinci. If it was strong enough to vanquish Sophia, this vampire must be powerful. Even with your Guardian's Pledge, you're gambling with your life. Will you still do it? Heck yes, Jack. Why don't you come join us? You sound like you're quite apt and able. <laughs> I like your boldness. Good. I'll give you the Guardian's Pledge of Ezekiel, the legendary vampire slayer. Lovely. Once Thank you. Once you activate the Guardian's Pledge, mm -hmm. its Guardian will inhabit your body. But that oh. alone is not enough. That that's, doesn't sound great. That sounds like possession, mate. You know? What do you mean? The memories of a Guardian are called Pledge Loops. The more Pledge Loops you can find, the stronger the Guardian will become. You'll need to find those first before you face this monster. Oh, I should be dead by then, mate. Ezekiel's Pledge was found in the Temple of Silvith. You should go there first. Maybe the Guardian will show you around. Now, hurry. End that creature's life. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Every time I go Stop somewhere to get something, they send me somewhere freaking else. Okay. Temple of Silveth. Well, where is it exactly? Okay. Well, do I have to talk to him again? Do I? There's no time. Go to the Temple of Silveth and find the pledge loops. Mate, there's like a purple. F oh, okay, fine. It's the freaking door. Oh no, someone's ghost. Hello, someone's ghost. I I will stay. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm interacting with the bloody door, aren't I? No, I want to interact with this ghost thing. There you go. Zoom! The and we're off! The Stone Guard's resistance forces was a cheerful man who felt yeah. somehow beast-like. Once you had explained the whole story, Jake lent you the Guardian's pledge of legendary vampire slayer Ezekiel. But he advised you to find the pledge loop containing Ezekiel's memories in the Temple of Silveth to strengthen the Guardian first. Okay, I guess we're going in there. This could be fun. Let me in. Knock, knock. My guards. Here I am to save the day. Yes, clear. We've arrived at Kate. I guess. Oh, some memory fragment. All right, let's hit that up then. As soon as you touch it, you can hear the sound of somebody sobbing and wailing. I don't know whether I wanted to touch that, then, eh? Scarlet! No! What the fudge? <laughs> Okay, this is a little bit dodgy, isn't it? Whoever it was, I'll follow you to the end and tear you to shreds. 
Oh dear. Okay, right. All right, well, we've done that then. Scarla's ghost as well. Memory sign. There is a stone otter that looks like a barrier device. All right. Touch it. Yeah, let's do that one. Ah, touch on the E! I guess. Boom! Lovely jubbly. What the fudge is that? All right. Guess we're going there then. Oh, I'm trying to open it. I'm trying to do something. I have no idea. There we go. Sneaky! It was like a ghost lock. Alright, we're going now then. This looks like I'm going to end up fighting a giant boss, right? That's what's going to happen. I'm going to go in here. There's going to be a giant freaking boss. I'm going to get battered. Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, hello. Look what I've got. Isn't that lovely? What do you think of those apples? Oh, OK. There we are. Right. We've got a load of ghosties and we've got a thing floating above me. Oh, well, let's just hit that then. Inspector Mungate. I was expecting to get battered by a boss, but that didn't happen. This is good. This um, this worked out a lot better than I thought it would. What's this purple thing that I've got to head to over here, then? It sounds like there's a timer or something going on right now. Ah, I see. I've got to climb up all these plinths, and I've only got a certain amount of time, right? Let's do that again, then. I couldn't see no grapple points. I couldn't see how to get up there. Aha! We run up these stairs here because they're invisible. Okay. Oh, there's a grapple point. Yeah. Okay. Um, I haven't got the angle right. Oh, that just sucks. All right. Well, we'll try that again then. But the camera angles are really freaking wonky. This could take me a month of freaking Sundays to do this, to be honest, people. Come on, give me the freaking grapple point. Oh, God. All right. Maybe it only grapples from up here, then, or something. How did this happen? Yeah, freaking go for it. I'm pressing X. I'm pressing X. Look. Uh all right, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll work out how to do this because I'm panicking because I know I'm recording, okay? And when I get there, I'll, I'll let you know. It's probably going to take me like an hour. Okay, chums, if you actually talk to this little ghosty chap here, talk to them, look, watch. They actually point out that you can actually go through that gate round over here, and it looks like there's something that might increase the time. And it looks like you've got a better vantage point of climbing all over the freaking stuff. So, that wasn't that obvious, but there we go. Hit that up. Ah. Oh. If you move away too soon, it doesn't work. Go wait for it to do its full animation. Right, let's leg it up here then. How did okay. this happen? We'll go through there, around here, he did it. Oh, and I can hit oh. this now. Well, I thought I could anyway. I can't. And there's no way I'm going to make it across there in time. Let's wait for it to end and then let's hit this. Here we go. Hiya! Oh, don't turn into a pigeon. Right. Get up there. I don't see where I've got to go now. Oh, God. Yeah, that didn't work, did it? All right. I think I see what I've got to do, but either janky controls or my own freaking inept ability is holding me back from doing it. OK, so we're one step closer, but I don't think we're actually that close to doing it. Right, leg it up here again. How did this happen? Round here. Over here. God, he did it. Then oh, wait. Scala. And then activate. And then we're going to be doing some jumpy jumpies. Come. 
I'll try once more of you guys watching. If I don't do it, then I would... Ah. I hate this whole waiting for the magnifying glass to fill up nonsense. Right, here we go. Hiya! Head on over. Okay. Yeah, land! Freaking bollocks! Okay, right. From there, I don't know where I've got. I can't work out where I've got to go from over there. I can't make that jump, can I? Alright, well, I'm a little bit miffed. I'll see if I can work this out, people. Okay, Jums, I've just spotted by this second plinth is Skylar's ghost again. So I'm going to talk to her again and see what she shows me to do this time. Okay, onto there. Oh, and through there! Right. Okay. Alright. Fine. I wondered why I couldn't jump there. There we go. Look for Scarlet's ghost each time. Papa yeah. Chow. Oi! Oh, fudge! Pterodactyl mode! Through this the wall. Is terrible. It is terrible. I freaking hate jump puzzles. They puzzle me. Right, they disappear. Let's wait for a second. Let's see if she... Look, it takes a little while for her to appear. I was standing where she was the first couple of times. I didn't spot her. There you go. Now let's see where she takes us. So after we hit that, we need to leg it through here. Climby, climby. And we're there. We're there, people. There you go, right. There we go, then. Zap. Oh, yeah. Done, Lily, and done. Okay, here we go. Energy infused necklace. Pow pow. Go inside the hall of oafs. Well, I guess there's only one way we can go, and it's this way. This must be the hall of oafs. Right, oh. Okay, you know what? I might just move my camera down for a second, people. One second. Let's uh, let's do that. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Cam set. Just move me down a little bit. Yeah. So you can see the stuff above me. I want to make sure my mic's all good. Yeah, we're all good. Let's let's head on in then. Okay. It's a little bit worrying. Righto. Oh, one second. Okay, here we go. Let's get that sign. A little cup of tea. Okay. There's a load of freaking graves in here. Ezekiel, you're a vampire too. Be what? Gone. Okay. Hmm. I was expecting a cutscene. That doesn't really happen, does it? Okay, Ezekiel's past. Okay. Villagers from the past. Oh, right. I, oh, we've already hit this one, right? It's pointing me over here. Aha! I saw him yesterday at the Northern Forest. Could it be the monster of legend? There we go. Scar, I will bring the head of Leonardus to your grave. Leonardus is ghost. Tonight, I promise. <laughs> I'll send you to a place eternally free of pain. Hold on. Leonardus. Killed Ezekiel. Oh great. So what chance do I freaking have? Energy infused sword. I'm not really a sword wielder. Alright. Okay. Well, that just threw my camera all over the freaking shop, didn't it? I'm going to head down here then.
Hello again. Scarlet points to a sign. What? What? Okay. What a nuisance. It seems they will dog me to the end. I better get out of here soon. So it's like Leonardus did kill Ezekiel then. Okay. Oh great. Um And down here This looks like a boss chamber. Okay, I haven't fought something for a while. I've done lots of puzzles. I just kind of want to bite something now, please. What? What's going on? There we go. Cutscene time. Lovely. <laughs> Is that Leonardus now? What the flying fudge? And where did that come from? What was his name again? Ezekiel? I dispatched that fool a long time ago. Is that the pledge? I don't know. Okay, am I fighting Leonardus right here, right now? Is that what's about to happen? I thought we was in a memory right now. Holy fudge, that's some cool so, ass armor. It's you. Is that me? Leonardus. No, it's Ezekiel. I thought it might be an entertaining oh, diversion. God. But your plan to beat me was a useless guardian's pledge. Fudge off. This time, I'll finish you. Take that. Forget it. Time to die now. The git can teleport and hit me. And I keep losing targeting. I need the pledge loop. Oh, just let me battle him. Oh, for fudge. What the fudge is this all about? My power is coming back. How dare you? Take that. Where'd he go? Quickly, the pledge loop. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I feel my strength returning. This ends here, Leonardus! Hiya! Yeah, fudge it! Oh, for fudge's sake, he keeps losing targeting! Oh, for fudge, go away! I'll teach you, kid. He's probably gonna have multiple phases, this, this guy. Get that quickly. You're no match for me, Leonardus. Well, we'll see. So I'll try my best. Yeah! Right, charge shot again. In the face, get back. I will end you! Blood. There you go, have that. This is for Scarla! Have that! Frick yeah, we got him! When you acquired the pledge loop and learned about Ezekiel's past, Leonardus okay. killed Scarla, Ezekiel's teacher and lover, and Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer out to have his revenge. As Jake said, you could tell that the Warden was becoming more powerful as you traced his life story. Okay, what's this over here? Is that the gate that closed behind me? It looks so cool. Oh, all right, fine. I don't think there's anything else that I can loot or plunder inside of here. It just looks like candles at the feet of these statues. All right, well, we get out of here then. Zoom! Oh, another cutscene. While being bitten by a vampire, Ezekiel was saved by Scala, the monster hunter. Sweet. Despite now becoming a half vampire, Scala trained him to become a vampire hunter. Cool. 
Scala would later be killed by Baron Leonardus, a powerful vampire lord. Ezekiel vowed to avenge her. Over the course of decades, Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer. He found Leonardus and began a fight to the death. <laughs> but Leonardus was too strong. At death's door, Ezekiel used the last of his strength to draw a magic circle with blood and placed a guardian's pledge in its center. With his soul now infused in the pledge, Ezekiel became a guardian, protecting others from vampires. Righto. Okay, you can now summon guardians. How the fudge do I do that then, mate? Okay, we'll have that then. Alright, we can't have the headgear. I, that would have been nice to have picked that up and actually stuck it on my freaking head, you know what I mean? That would be nice. Oh okay, yeah, now we go to the nice shiny door that I thought would be the exit. Okay, here we are then. Let's get out of here. Zoom! Ezekiel lost the battle with Leonardus, vowed an oath to get revenge, and became a guardian. With the power of the guardian's pledge, Ezekiel encountered Leonardus again, and finally repaid him for what happened to Scala. Okay. Right. Now what do I do? Um, hit this, I guess. And away we go! Magic! At the cliffs beside Stone God Castle, oh. there is a huge underground temple built long ago. Before the war with the Lightbringer Society, it was the largest temple of Silavith in Aden. Sweet. The Great War with the Lightbringer Society resulted in the deaths of most of the Shadowmancers here. Now, only a few surviving followers remain to roam the halls. Cool. Okay. And now I need to go speak to Kali, the contract coin merchant. Really? Why? I, I need to go and kill a vampire, don't I? Honestly, don't know. Uh, right. Well, we've got to go over there, apparently. So, let's zoom on out, I guess. How do I zoom out? Oh, not that button. Okay, where am I going? Uh, Castleton? Really? Alright, I guess we go there then. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll go there for now then. Can't really see where I've got to go. I mean, it's giving me all these missions here. Um, I'm going to go speak to Callie in Castledon, so... Maybe I'll do both of these things quickly and we'll see what's going on here. But where, where'd that marker go? It was right here a second ago. Oh, there we go. What company? Oh, but an adventure. You've got some good company. Yeah. You have a small but mighty friend next to you. The little tree stump, yeah. Frey Percy. Amoti are great adventurers. Our adventures are very special. I want a fishing rod. Haha, <laughs> -ha, you have heard of the expedition. It's an adventure that only the Amotis can take. I'm sure everyone is itching to join one, even if they don't say so. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Amotis never returned empty-handed from an adventure. Why not organise an expedition with your Amoti? Alright, sounds good. The more emoti you send out on an expedition, the more rewarding it is. Let me, adventurer pro Percy, introduce you to some great companions to your expedition. All right. Aha, the first expedition brings back memories. Cheers your friends on. Okay. Adventure pro Percy, a seasoned Amatoi veteran, told you about adventures available only to Amatoi. Your little friends can now go on their own exciting expeditions. Okay. How? Kid, can you look at your companion's eyes, say they're hungry and adventure, send them on an emoji adventure? Alright, well I was, I was thinking I would do that from you, but apparently not. Okay. Move the emoji to the house and send an emoji expedition to the golden rye pastures. I'll work that out some other time, let's just do the rest of these freaking things. There's Callie, the merchant. Got any contract coins? 
I have, I believe. I think I've got a couple, mate. If you need anything, you can buy it here with contract coins. Take your pick. All right, mate. What have you got? Ahoy! You're here, matey. Mystic keys. I've heard that the mystic keys are good to get stuff. So I guess that then. Yeah, I'll have all of them. Yeah, there you go. I've got five of them. And I have. Yeah, I thought I could buy at least five. All right, maybe not. Fishing bait. All right, I'll have some fishing bait. Not enough currency for this. How much currency do I have? I have sixty. I have 60, and there's only 20 there. Contract okay. coins, there which are paid to those who Bamboo fishing rod. Oh, I need 300. circulated among the resistance. Whoops. Resistance soldiers use these coins to purchase special items. I bought the bait, but I got a rod. <laughs> equal amongst the forces. The contract coin merchant places right. a limit on the daily number of purchases. Okay. All right. Well, I just wasted mine, didn't I? Okay, right, so what else we got to do inside of here? Is there any other markers inside of here? I don't think there actually is, is there? Nope, need to go speak to Rutain. Uh, okay, so we're just can, we're just trying to get all these off. So the Emoti Expedition, the Golden Rye Pastures. Let's do the top one first. I'm looking at this one right behind me here. So the Golden Rye Pastures. All right, where's the Golden Rye Pastures? Let's use the mouse. Golden Rye Pastures. Yeah, take me there. I want to see the Golden Rye Pastures, please. There it is right there. So can I add like a little marker there? Personal pin. There we go. And I'm going there. Sweet. We're going to send an emoji on a, an expedition. We're doing all this while my friend's slowly turning into a poxy vampire. Seems a little bit weird, doesn't it? Well, where's my... Where's my personal marker that I put? I was hoping to see something visually on the screen. I can see it on the mini-map above my head. On the GPS thing. Let's just uh, leg it here then. Lots of scarabs around here. You see like how we've got the purple markers? I was hoping to see a yellow one like that, you know? Okay, right. We're, we're close. We're close to where we need to be. Right, well, here's my marker. And I found some wild herbs where the marker is. But I'm not seeing how you set this guy on a mission. Move to the Emoti house and send the Emoti expedition to the Golden Rye pastures. It makes no sense. No sense at all. Well, there's a house here. Let's go and have a quick look at this house. It mentions a house, but... That seems a little bit fluffed up when it comes to message text, to be fair. Unless I'm just reading it wrong. Okay, let's head, let's head on here and then here then. Oh, great, you can't actually go in. Well, that's pointless then, isn't it? Alright, well, I have no idea what I'm doing there. Can I actually select this mission? Let's, let's go click on it. Alright. Oh, and where's all my missions gone? Fudge! Right, Codex. Golden Rye Pastures. No, that's not what I want to do. Adventure. Alright. Where is it? I just wanted to click on the mission that was on the screen a second ago, you know? Oh my god. This is just insanely weird to navigate. Cali Cash. Yeah, well, we've done that. We've done that. Oh, here we go. Golden Rye Pastures. Yeah. Doesn't that actually tell me what I need to do? Oh, I'm going to get a fishing rod if I do this. Oh, yeah. I want to do that. Okay. No. H how do I do it? Tell me more. Objective lifts. Move the emote. Move to the Emoti house and send an Emoti expedition to the Golden Rye Pastures. I don't know where the the Emoti... I don't know where the Emoti house is. Okay, one second, people. I'm going to have to look this up online. Okay, chums. Well, I've looked on Reddit and I found that if you click on this, 
That shows you... Click on the emoti icon to teleport to the emoti house. I would have never have found that in a million frickin' years. That takes the frickin' me. Oh my frickin' god. Okay, right. I wasn't even in keyboard mode. How would I have seen that down there? Oh, you're having a laugh, mate. Expedition map. Here we go. Golden Rye Pastures. What? No, there? Golden Rye Pastures, yes, one hour. Begin expedition. Okay, I've got both of them on now. Maybe I haven't got both of them on. God! The, the interface for this is a little bit freaking weird. Anyway, they're on an expedition. It's going to last an hour. Hopefully, I'll get the uh, fishing rod. All right. How do I get the fudge out of here, then? The door is locked for now. Great. So I'm now stuck in here forever, am I? Yep, I'll have that, then. Oh, look at all this. We've got loads of stuff to look at. Lovely. Oh, God! Can't see Colonel, time. The sacred deer of the Black Owl Plains met his demise. Ah, it's just um. And his death heralded. Is you can you can just look at previous memories. Okay, fine. That's nice to be able to play those back whenever you want because they are freaking lovely, but not right now. What the fudge are these little guys on here? Look, there's there's other little little emotes. Oh, cool. Can I get a different one? Oh, I like that guy with the horns up there and the black and the white top. The little, little scruffy git on the top shelf. I like him. How do I get these? That'd be cool. I want a different one. I don't know. Anyway, hold on. RB and right trigger. RB, right trigger. No. I was wondering. Oh, no. I'm going to use my freaking stuff if I'm not careful. I was hoping that I could be out of... What the fudge? I just turned into a freaking vampire! Oh no, I'm going to be like this for nine minutes. How do I cancel it? I thought that was to teleport me back. I'm looking at these little freaking icons. You can't really see what they are. I'm going to be night... I've just wasted that freaking ability, haven't I? Awesome biscuits. Well, I wanted to teleport out of this blinking dump. Look. That's all the map now. It's not like I can get out of this place with ease. Do I have to actually go back to keyboard and mouse mode to get out of here? Okay, how the fudge do I get out of here? You're already in the emoti house. Yeah, tell me about it. And now I want to get out of the emoti house. Oh, there's an exit button up here. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get out. Oh, my days. I don't know what console players would do, but that's how you do it on um, PC. So there we go. Now we've got to go back to Castledon and go speak to Percy again. All right. What, why isn't the sidebar on the freaking screen? So I can choose easy places. I can't see shite from up here. Is that Castledon? No, that's Carmain Forest. Are you Castledon? Open menu. Oh no, there we go. I want to go there. Is it just me, people? Or, or was that very confusing, the whole lot? Alright, let's go speak to Aventura Pro Percy then. I see you sent your expedition off. Yes, fear and excitement are the same for those who leave and those who wait for them. Sweet. Uh -huh. Your trusty companion reminds me of the good old days. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, I, I like better companions. Sweet. All right. Done. Go. Cool. You know, I'm supposed to be slaying a vampire right now, not talking to stuffed animals. Sorry, mate. Okay, cool. All right. Bye. Yeah. Just as Adventure Pro Percy said, 
Your Amatoyi expedition team brought back gifts from the successful expedition. Did they? Okay. How am I supposed to know that? I don't know. Alright, okay. Alright. So, equipment transfer. Speak to Robert at Vianetta Village. No, I want to go fight a freaking vampire! Okay. Uh, let's let's just click here for a second. All the missions disappear. Of course they do. Yeah. All right. So codex. Apparently I've got stuff that I can actually claim. Reward received. I've got I've got the bamboo fishing rod. That's nice. Okay. Cool. I've got the fishing rod. I can learn how to fish at some stage, then I guess. Emotes. There we go. I've got this guy. Oh look, there are there are here. Where's the one I like? I well, quite like him as well. He's quite cool. Yeah, I like him. He's pretty darn sweet, isn't he? Bushy fragment not collected yet. Oh, there's some awesome ones here, isn't there? Ah, that's the one I really like. How do I get him then? Oh, check. you've got to go to the shop to buy him. Oh, he's awesome. How much does he freaking cost? It costs 400 of these things, these slices of pizza. I haven't got any slices of pizza right now. Yeah, I'd have to buy them with real money. That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Maybe, maybe when I get to level 50. If I think this game's worth like 30 quid of my money or something, I might do it, you know. Okay, milestones, let's look in here. Claim reward. Is there not a claim reward? Have I claimed all this stuff, yeah? I don't know. What about... An, ah, there's something in here I can claim, maybe. Okay. Reach level 10. Haven't I, haven't I done that? I'd, what the fudge, mate? Oh, there you go. Claim reward. There needs to be a claim all button. Because that could be... I would never have spotted that. And then do I have to actually click through all of these to look for what I've done? Hold on, these are in ended. Mate, this is a such a complex game. I'm going to get so many freaking comments on this video. I'm actually learning more from the comments, to be fair, than I am from in the game. Guardians. Okay, so we've got this one right now. This is cool. I like that. Vampire Slayer. Very cool. It looks like you can get loads. Oh, that's excellent. All right. Lovely. Leveling log. Aha! Claim all rewards. There we are. I just got all the... Oh, I got a new little plushy guy. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yes, we've got a new little guy. Would have been nice if I got that before I sent out my expedition, wouldn't it? I could have sent him on it. All right. Sweet. What else we got in here? Okay, anything that's got these little red diamonds on are things that I need to click on. I don't want to do that yet. Unlocks at level 50. Oh, wow! That's cool. Looks like the Eye of the Beholder. Cool. All right, Emoti. And we got a new guy. Shall we have him with us? Yeah, we'll have him with us for now. That's cool. Right, character info. What do we got on here? Oh, we've got five points to spend. Stick a couple in there. A couple in there. That'd be me. Sweet. Okay. Now, someone was telling me that I need to craft a load more green gear, because at the moment I've only got the cape. Even my hat, by the looks of things, isn't green. So I need to craft more gear. Let's go in. Let's see if I can craft something. Now where... Oh, craft! Didn't, oh, God. I'm an idiot. I didn't even see that. All right, armour. Okay, right. I want a green hat like the hat I've got. So at the moment, I've just got the mystic hat on. I quite like that hat. I think it suits me quite well. So I go for that. All right, I've chose it. How do I craft it? Is that crafted now? Do I press that? How do I craft it exactly then?
Click here to check the correct location. Castleton, armor crafter. All right. And just there. All right, okay. I'll just put a little marker there. There we are. Right. And now I want to zoom to Castleton, I guess. I think I was already in Castleton, but just to be sure. Alright, okay. And we're heading that way. Lovely jubbly. Ah, a weapon crafter. Armor crafter. Iron cloth. Do you need stronger armor? I do indeed. You're quite perceptive, yes. How do I move down on the frickin' list? Oh, let's just go back to keyboard and mouse for a second. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go with that one, please. Uh, yeah, craft that. So I can't craft stuff myself. All right, fine. Oh, that's a cool hat too. Oh, well, I've got this one now. I should have looked a little bit more, shouldn't I? All right, let's have a look. It's a shame we can't see it on, you know? Well, we've got the cape. We've got armour. We haven't got gloves. Oh, I quite like those. Fortune telling gloves. All right, I need to look. melee defense and range defense. That's pretty cool. Crit's chance, the hit chance is 70. That's not too bad. I'm just going for how they look, to be honest. Melee defense, range defense. That's quite nice, too. I quite like them ones. They're cool, aren't they, with the sigil on? One day I want to craft armor that can defend against any attack. I think I might go for the red ones. Just sticking with my logo colors. Yeah, I'll go with that. Sweet. And pants. Oh, I kind of want those. Can I can I craft oh no, I can't craft blue ones yet by the looks of things. Well they've got red pants on that one. We go with that one. That's probably gonna look a little bit weird. But you know. Okay, right, we've got black and still sabatons. Now, my logo colours are red, black and, and white, so I might go for those. Yeah, we'll go for those. Okay, lovely. I think we're good now. We haven't got enough armour. Is it in here that I can do it? Yeah. So, I want to equip that. There. Um, I want to put this lovely new hat in replacement of the hat that I had. Nice. And these new boots are going on my boots. And these new pants on them pants. Heck yes! I'm looking pretty darn freaking groovy actually, aren't I? That's quite nice. Yeah, alright. I need some better accessories though, don't I? Okay, I think there is an accessory crafter here as well isn't there yeah come back soon i can tell you have a good eye since you're here for my wares yes i'm here for your wares indeed i'm not really into necklaces that look so freaking ornate though yeah i'll go for maybe the bracelet of conquest what is that does that melee evasion not too bad a little bit of evasion why not let's have that and I think I need one more trinket. Oh, I can't. I, I don't think I've got enough crafting materials for any of this other stuff, have I? Need more gold. All right. Well, that's all right. At least we've got one. Uh, so let's stick that on there. Lovely. Now I've got a little bit more green going on, haven't I? Okay. Uh, so, at this point, I should be able to do some other stuff with this. So, I think you have to come out of here and go into that one. Okay. And I want to upgrade my gauntlets. Let's just do everything a level, shall we? We'll just go up a level on each, hopefully. Okay. Just Actually, I've got two levels on the gauntlets. They do look rather groovy. Okay, come out of there. Ah! 
Uh, what else do I want to up to level two? Probably everything. Let's go for the hat. Oh, I wanted that to be selected. There you go. You can never get tired of looking at precious accessories. Take that up to level two. Okay, what else can we do? I just go all the way out. Right, here we are. Okay, I just want to go one one back. There we go. Uh, I might do those to level two now. Sweet. That's a level two. All right, I'll be with you when I've actually up up to all the levels on these. Okay, chums, I'm actually out of growth stones now, so I've just pummeled all this into there, and you can see that some of it I've actually got to max now, like level six, and a lot of it's still at twos. Some oh, of it, you've got yeah. good taste. Not too bad. I'm, I'm feeling a bit more comfortable now. We're doing pretty good. We can also put the fishing rod in. So here we go. Let's put the fishing rod over there. Lovely jubbly. Heck yes, we've now got a fishing rod. This is cool. Okay, right. Done, dilly, and done. There's a lot of stuff that I could put into the index thing or whatever it is the lithographic book yeah let's um yeah and hopefully it's going to give us more crafting materials is what i'm thinking okay is that it okay um i guess that's all i can do yeah that's done yeah i think that's everything that i can stick into the lithographic book for now Done. Cool. Inventory. What's it pointing at inside of here that's new then? Do you have enough materials? I don't overly see what it is that it's trying to point me to in here. I don't know why it's got a red marker on it at the moment. The only thing I can think of is is that one that's got a timer on it. This one hour training due, due, due something like that. Who freaking knows? All right, well, there you go. I've got rid of all these red markers. Battle Pass is lit up like a freaking Christmas tree. Oh, claim all rewards. I didn't realise I had anything to collect there. All right. Claim all points. All right. Holy fudge. I'm now, like, level 20. I don't know how I did that, people. I don't know why I just got gifted all of that, but I'm freaking grateful. Sweet. Morph into a desert... Imprints onto your body enable you to morph. Tin Knight. Eh? That's pretty cool. Alright, I guess. Come out of there then. You can never get tired of looking at precious Morphs. accessories. <laughs> oh, frickin' sweet! Special! <laughs> okay, add designated morph then, I guess. Instant morph. Oh yeah. Has that just changed me into that? Oh my god! Come back with plenty no, of I don't want to be this. <laughs> okay, morph back. Good. That was freaking. Why would I want to do that? Bizarre. Any type of armor you need. This is cool. All right. Well, there we go. We're now fully leveled up. Okay. It says appendix adventure of the expedition. Then talk. That pro Percy has now gone to Velenetta village, apparently. There's a few people in Velenetta village to talk to. There's something there about Chapter 5, Sacred Pledge of Blood. You can choose your final reward. Well, how do I get into that to do that exactly? Ah. Here we go. Oh, freaking sweet, yes. I can have myself a blue bow. Or this. Oh, look at that. All right, we'll have that. Yeah, I want it. Oh, for fudge. Seriously. Mouse and keyboard. I want the fudge. Okay, um. 
Right, let's try that all over again. In there. Select the following reward. The only trouble is, is when I select it, I can't see what button it is because this thing is covering it up. That's just really janky. Okay, what about if I go to keyboard and mouse now? Here we go. There we are. Okay, so do I want the bow? The long bow? Alt. I want to compare it to my long bow, funny enough. Alright, we'll go for the bow because that looks a little bit too icy. I'll go for that one. Right, so we've got that. We we'll claim that as well. Okay. Oh, we've got to speak to that guy. All right, fine. What's this one? Okay, so I've got to talk to a couple of people just to get that done. All right, fine. Sweet. All right. So if I go into here now. Ah, uh, yeah. Equipment enchanting. Transfer. Yep. You can do it better. And I want to transfer this into that. Select the equipment you want to transfer. Okay. No applicable items. It's probably because my bow isn't like the top ranked yet. You know? That's probably why. Alright, fine. We can't do any transferring at the moment because I need to get this up to level 6. I think. Alright. Well, character info. Let's put that bow in there. Sweet. All right. And then we'll infuse that bow when we're able to. Coolio. I've got my first blue item, people. My first blue. That's so cool. All right. Oh, God. Why is this all lit up like a Christmas tree now? I've got a few new things. That's all. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna add that into the. I want to keep that to infuse. I'm not gonna. It does it just register it, or do I lose the item? I don't get it. I'm not too. Sh what does it do? Register all items. Register all it would destroy the items. Hunt a bow. No, then. All right. Oh my god, this game is very confusing. Or it is for me anyway. What's in there? Okay, stuff that I would probably need to buy with real cash and you know, sign my life away. Okay, right. So we can go see Runetine. Okay, right. Chapter 4. Alright, so let's go into the old menu here. How do I clear all of my pin settings um, I want to clear them all god right how do I clear them all clear clear what the heck I want to clear all pins yeah okay. I'm not getting the menu to do that now pin settings which is X so there we go Open menu. Oh, fudge it. All right, so we're going to be going to where then? We need to go to see Pert, the other guy. So, Vianetta Village, let's go there. On our way. Still learning this game. This game's learning curve is big. I'd say that probably until you get to level 50, you're still learning the game. I can't imagine I'm the only person to really struggle with this game. Alright, okay, so 35 metres this way. There's somebody over here I need to go see. So it's Runetine. Let's go speak to him. And I should be able to claim oh, a reward. You're back. What happened? I have purged this world of vampire Leonardus. I did kill him then, okay. That's really fortunate. It would have been terrible if Vienta Village or Sophia had been attacked. Have you actually saved Sophia now? Thankfully, her condition's very much improved. 
Thank you so much. Brilliant, eh? This is good news. I owe a great debt to you and to Jake. Let me know if you ever need my help. Sure thing, mate. Are you going to return the Guardian's pledge to Jake? Please, convey to him our gratitude. I think I might keep it. Alright, thank you. Let's head on over this way then. Okay, I can now choose my final reward. Okay, this was fun trying to do this, wasn't it? There you go. Good work. Choose your final reward. There we go. I can either have Sophia's Ring of Strength, Robert's Ring of Focus, or Ring of Wonder. I think that's probably going to do better for me, isn't it? Yeah. I go with that one, please. There we go. We got it. Sweet. Just a case of pressing the right buttons until I found the right one. Okay, right. And then I guess I'm going to here. And I want the Ring of Wonder. Oh, it's a blue. Okay, so we're going to stick that there. Lovely freaking jubbly, mate. I'm, oh, I'm getting a couple of blues now, aren't I? Well, this is good. Okay. Speak to... Percy, I guess? Is that up here? Oh, no. I've got to go speak to Sophia. Sophia's there. Hello, Sophia. You're Good safe. to see you well. I heard the story from Routine. Thank you so much. And how are you doing? Punch of wounds on your neck still? I feel much better, thanks to you. I'll be sure to repay the favour sometime. Cool. We're all in a day's work, Sophia. Sweet. Okay. Cool. And I think that's now done, isn't it? So we did actually slay the vampire. I did wonder. And I think we're doing pretty darn freaking good now. I wonder if I could go into the old camera mode. How was it? Into oh no, it's best to do it on here. And go to photo mode. And I want to zoom in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes, I'm looking rather swanky. That'll do. Take photo. Open folder. And I'm going to just copy that for now. And stick that in my pictures. That's going to be my thumbnail. Lovely jubbly. Paste that there. And I think this is probably a good point to end off. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So hopefully when we reconvene, that little emoti quest that my emoti went on might come back with a reward, although I think it got sped up somehow. So there is that. Anyway, people, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.